Well, athletes are always told never to give up, to push themselves to the limit. Some hockey players in Calgary have taken that to heart. They challenged themselves to break the record for the world's longest hockey game, a marathon on ice that's left them exhausted, battered and bleeding. But as Francis Silvaggio reports, it's all for a very worthy cause. The puck dropped almost 11 days ago when legs were fresh and goalies still had pride. My secret reason for joining this is so that you have the world's longest shutout, but it lasted about uh, three minutes or so. More than 9,000 goals have since been scored in the world's longest hockey game. Steve Mazinski has potted 1,000 on his way to help raise $2 million for the Alberta Children's Hospital. That was the main goal, uh, and then the 1,000 goals is kind of just a, a gravy stat. It took the great one 20 full seasons to score that many goals, and it would take the NHL's ice time leaders more than two seasons to play the 5,700 minutes each of these players will log in less than two weeks. We just sat down and we just put all these stats together and we're like, are you kidding me? The 248-hour Guinness record requires 290 bandages, 650 rolls of wrap, 300 pounds of ice per day for the nearly 1,500 ice baths, and nearly 10,000 minutes of massage therapy. How is the body holding up? Uh, the body's a little sore. There was also nearly 100 loaves of bread, 24 flats of eggs, 231 cases of water, and more than 3,800 loads of laundry. But for players and organizers, reaching the record is only the second most important goal. At the end of the day, they look in the stands and they see these children, and they know that that's what they're here for. Come on! children like Sienna Wood. They are pretty awesome. The money raised by the marathon will go directly to help children like Sienna and their families could not be more grateful. They see that all the kids are heroes but you know what they need to take a really good look in the mirror. That though will have to wait until after the final whistle blows and maybe a much needed nap. Francis Silvangelo, Global News, Calgary.